Hey there, it is Lolita E. Walker, and I am so excited to join Kim Beasley as we talk strategies and tips to get out of your own way. I can't wait for you to join us, listen in, grab a pen and a pad and grab these nuggets that we're going to drop on you today. All right now. Are you stuck when it comes to figuring out how to build your business brand online? Then check out Pamper My Business free training that helps you learn how to easily start building your business brand online. Just go to free.pampermybusiness.com. Remember, it's free. Kim Beasley, and I'm the host of Pamper My Business Podcast, where you will learn tips, tools, and techniques that will give you the freedom to easily build your business brand online so that you can be seen and then sell to your target customers. I will be interviewing industry leaders and professionals who will share their knowledge and experience, which will help you brand your business online. Get ready to take notes and learn from Kim and her guests because this is going to be a fun learning experience. Hello, my name is Kim Beasley and I'm the host of Pamper My Business Podcast. Thank you for tuning in for part two of this interview. So when it comes to dealing with overwhelm, Mm-hmm. How are what are a couple of things that you faced uh, in your own business of where you felt over overwhelmed and how you overcame it? When I first began my business in 2017, although, you know, I've been working for 17 and a half years doing this work for that long. When you start off on your own, it's your own and you're on an mm-hmm. island all by yourself, especially mm-hmm. as an entrepreneur. So where people knew me as Lolita E. Walker the director of change management, you know, for this company, they don't know me as Lolita E. Walker, certified life and executive coach. Mm -hmm. who's going to, you know, journey you on this change and transition. I dealt with a lot of self-doubt as I was going through and you have these, I'm going to call them unrealistic expectations of how many clients you should have by when of all (laughs) the people who are supposed to support you. All these people for 17 yes. and a half years, I supposed to have a line outside my door. Uh-huh. And, what, and when you really go months and months without seeing these people who in your mind supposed to be these big supporters of you because you're starting this business, which is so important to you, you really have to go back and take a look at what can I control, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody's not me. I would have been supporting them, but guess what? Everybody's not you. And what your priority is, is not their priority because you accidentally forgot the same high paced environment you were just in is the same one they're in. So Lisa yeah. is not on their to-do list for today. Yes, no? I, 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 I am 100% there. I spent, oh gosh, I'm about to tell my age. I spent uh, I almost 20 years in corporate America starting way back in the 90s. Mm-hmm. And uh, I came in to the the realm of technical project management by growing up through different systems. And mm-hmm. one of the things I had to learn is I'm working in an environment that's mostly males. So I either have to get a tough skin and deal with it or let them walk over all over me. And my overwhelm point came when I told you earlier how I was told I need to be barefoot pregnant at home. I had a choice. I could have gone off on him, reported him to HR. You know, I could have done a number of things. But what I chose to do was was say, OK, Kim, step back. Don't get angry. Just prove to him that you're better than that. I ended up becoming his boss. Mm-hmm. And and. In the end, we ended up having a better relationship than he thought could happen. So one of the things I learned there I, uh, is that I should not allow things that I'm facing to hamper me from getting to where I want to go. Mm-hmm. 
So I brought that same attitude over into my business. Uh, Like you were saying, you know, you're supposed to have a whole bunch of clients. I have one major client. And Mm -hmm. then I have I have one major corporate client and then I have entrepreneur clients. I'm very selective of who I work with Mm -hmm. because of the way I have my business modeled in that overwhelm that some people get to. of, I got to have this number of clients. I got to do this. I got to do that. How can you get them past the I got us that clients can face? Yeah, and that's a great question. So what I can tell you is some of the things that I've done myself and how I coach some of my clients as well is when you got to, got to, got to, <laughs> no, I got you. I got you. So let's look at what you said you got to do. Let's look at the plan, because sometimes the I got to, got to, got to is way outside of what you you even said you want to do. You got sidetracked by social media or with somebody <laughs> put in your ear today or that's OK. Yeah. Let's get you back off the ledge again and remember what you said you want to do. If you want to add it up, let's now add it up. I think the other thing about I got to, got to, got to have it is when you don't have it, when you don't have those 50 clients that you think that you're going to have in one month, what can you be doing? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's set up your foundation. Let's get some of that administrative stuff done. Let's get you some certifications. Let's do some research and start learning more about the people that you want to tap into. Let's take a look at what's going on in the community. Are there things that you can be doing in the community to help to build you so that when those clients do come, you're overprepared for what they might be bringing to you? Let's put some things in place like, is your budget all set? Here's the time to do it. Um, Where's that list of all of your to-dos that you're going to pull on in when you have time? Because when the time comes and everybody's there, which is great. You're going to be super busy. You don't have time to still do these things. So let's, you're always going to be busy, but let's put that busy time back into your business. So you don't end up in the bed depressed because of an unrealistic expectation that you set on yourself. <laughs> mm-hmm. you, you know, I, I, I love everything you've said. And, and, and one of the things I wanted to make sure we got into today is your book. What are some of the takeaways that people can have when they uh, dive into your book and and, and read it? What are some things that they can learn? Yes. So my book, I'm in love with it, just like any (laughs) author would tell you. But my book is called The Intersection of You and Change. And Mm. the subtitle is A Woman's Empowerment Guide to Leap to Your Unknown. And that's exactly what you can do through this book. Through this book, you hop aboard Lolita's Change Train. (laughs) Choo-choo. And I am your conductor aboard this train. And we are going to journey to 17 stops of self-discovery, of motivation, of affirmations, of really digging deep. Because the reality is, no matter what title is that we always talked about at the beginning, all those 55 titles that we have, no matter what five hats you have on in this very moment, when you pause and self-reflect, you always discover you. And when you discover you, you can give more of you. So now I can go into that meeting at work and give my thousand percent. Now I can push things on a side and recognize where I'm clear. So my book takes you on different stops, 17 stops, which are the 17 chapters. And it goes from journey junction all the way to gratitude gateway. So I'm offering you strategies. I'm asking you questions about your fears, your strengths. You know, I'm giving you some of me. And then I'm also offering you strategies like we talked about. Where's your small wins board? Let's get that up. Let's talk about affirmations. Let's talk about why they're so important. All of those things. So whether it's communication or clarity, all of those things, we dive right in. So tell me, now that we're talking about your book, what do you have as a giveaway for my listeners? Yes. Well, hello, listeners. Um, (laughs) what What you'll be able to download today are two things. The first is going to be um, just a a deck that I've put together on not only who I am, but on what fear is, not only as entrepreneurs, but as busy women and your men listeners that's out there as well. We all have a fear, multiple fears that face us every day and sometimes shackle us. So I ask you questions. um, But so between the presentation, that's really just giving you an overview on fear. But you're also going to take away a managing fear worksheet which is going to ask you things like, how do you define fear? Mm -hmm. And now let's personify it. 
What's the name of your fear? How big or tall is your fear? What is your fear saying to you? And then what are you saying to it? So I ask you questions like that because I truly believe that when you can personify a fear, when it's going to seem silly when you first do it, listeners, it is, it is, it is. But when you really personify it and you can see it, then you can ask your questions. Would I let a person do this? Would I let Mr. Fear or whatever you name it? When I was on another call, um, their fear's name was Ninja. And they oh. described the ninja and what this ninja did and how it was just blocking and cutting through them. And th- what the ninja was saying to them is, you're going to die. You're not good enough to be doing this. I'm going to oh. kill you. And so when you can hear that and when you can see that, Mr. Ninja is not going to hold you down. We got this thing. And so I just talked to you about, so download the worksheets and go through them. And I'd love to hear from you and your listeners through your listenership, just what they thought about it and how they can conquer at least one of their fears. So we're at a point now where you can shine. I want you to tell my listeners, you know, how they can get in touch with you, where you're located online, just shine. Absolutely. Well, shining, shining. Yes. (laughs) So I am Lolita E. Walker, as I mentioned, and you can find me at Lolita, L-O-L-I-T-A, Walker, W A L K E R dot com, and everything I offer, whether it's products, services, my women's retreats, uh, corporate retreats, my book, everything is there. Affirmations, everything I do is under the umbrella of empowering you to embrace, act, and thrive. Everything. My products say that, it teaches you that, it really instills that in you. My book does the exact same thing. Coming up, I have a one-day women's retreat, April 20th in Brandywine, Maryland, that I would love to even see some of your listeners um, at. Also, I do a women's retreat twice a year, four-day women's retreat in February and September, really with the idea that busy women come to pause, Mm -hmm. renew, restore, and get out there and get it done. That's what it's all about. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Thank you. Yes, yes. I I, I have really been um, excited to talk with you ever since uh, I got your information and I, because I knew you were going to say things that lined up with what I the way I think about things. And Absolutely. sure enough, you proved it right. One of the things and I'll share this real quick. One of the things that I personally uh, one of the fears I personally faced for many years was uh, losing weight. Mm hmm. I, I, I don't know why it was like, like your, uh, like you said, your person named it Ninja and it was mm-hmm. kind of, it was like a, a block that was there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then last year, one of my, my uh, heart doctors, she said, Kim, I'm not going to be around a bush. You have to lose weight. And I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. And I set I had to set my mind to it and not only set my mind to it, I had to change the way I looked at the world. Yeah, I looked at me and I had to change the way I did things, my eating habits, my sleeping habits. I'm limited on what I can do, uh, mm-hmm. seeing that I'm on oxygen and mm-hmm. and, um, and and things like that. However, I'm doing what I can do. So mm-hmm. since November 2018, I have lost 45 pounds. Yes. And, congratulations. <laughs> thank you. And that's something that in the past, I would have been like, okay, I'm good. I've done, Mm -hmm. but I have a bigger goal. And to me, when we as women, as entrepreneurs, when we set goals, uh, we should have like uh, many goals where we have, okay, this first one, I accomplished this. Now what's my next goal to make Uh myself better? What's my next goal to grow my business? And when we continue growing, or continue moving forward, we're not going to have time to look back. We're not going to have time to, 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 to go, okay, I'm done. Mm -mm. You're continuously growing and changing. And Mm -hmm. I love what you have to say because it challenges, it's challenging me again today. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kim, you've reached this goal. What's your (laughs) next one? Come on. You got to get to know. And then I, 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 I really appreciate you sharing what you have today. Oh, thank you so much. So what I also was going to say is that if any of your listeners um, come over to be coaching clients, 
some of the things that if if they have blocks very much like you did um, with your with your weight, that being a fear of losing this weight. The question is, what are you going to lose if you don't do it? Yeah. What do you lose out on if you don't do it? And I had to face that fear. And I'm challenging uh, my listeners, any, uh, anyone who listens to this interview, what is, it, especially if you have to lose weight, what's stopping you? Yeah. And in your business, if you feel that you're stagnant, what's stopping you? Yeah. And are you ready to lose everything that you just said? So what I would say is, what are you going to lose? And are you willing to lose it? Mm. Are you willing to lose it? Well, let's put a plan in, in place so that you're going to get it. And you're going to, that loss, we're going to post it up because I want you to see it every single day. That is what's going to drive you. So yes, that's what's stopping you. Guess what? No problem. <laughs> we're going to work this out. I got you. <laughs> uh, I have had such an awesome time yes. interviewing you today. and and. Thank and you. I- and I really appreciate you uh, agreeing to to talk, spend some time talking with me. I am definitely, definitely going to have you back. Uh, on yes, I would love to. I I would love to, especially when I hit my next milestone. I'll I'll call you up, Lolita. You ready for yes. the interview again? I'm I ready. A milestone. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Take your time to celebrate. Okay, I can't yes. sing the song because this is a recording. <laughs> but just okay. imagine me singing the song "Celebration" in my head. Yes. Um, okay. Well, I appreciate you having me, Kim. I think that you just have such a powerful platform. I've listened to your podcast in the past, and your guests are just so phenomenal. So if I can do that for another person and I say, guess what? We're winning. So thank you. Thank you. And once again, this has been Kim Beasley, your host of Pamper My Business podcast. Looking forward to having uh, Lolita just share with you some awesome things through her giveaways. So watch out for the giveaways in the show notes. Once again, thank you. You have been listening to Pamper My Business Podcast, and I am your host, Kim Beasley. Join the Pamper My Business community by visiting PamperMyBusiness.com, where you will find our free training along with our masterclass so that you can continue your learning journey about building your brand online. I'm Geraldine B. Thomas, founder of the One Million Women Link Up. The Powerhouse Business Initiative educates aspiring seven-figure women on how to monetize their LinkedIn membership by forging lucrative collaborative marketing partnerships with like-minded business and professional women so they can sell out their events, catapult their book sales, fill up their coaching hours, and more. Visit smartwomenpartner.com to learn more about the One Million Women Link Up.